here we are. We've dry formed our bracer and we're waiting to take it out of the form. Now, when I dried it, I wrapped it with tape to make sure that it would stay in the form and then I used a wood block just to make sure that the forearm spacing was right. Uh, so we're gonna pull the tape off and just see what we have here. And one thing I want you to notice is I stuck this in front of my heater. And you can see, oh no, what is that? Look, it's burnt, hold on. Boop. You can see it's burnt. So you never wanna leave it in front of your heater for too long because you can burn it. It's still gonna be fine. Uh, it tends to harden the leather, but it also makes it more brittle or susceptible to cracking. So it's like you can show if I squeeze, you can see a little fissure there right in the middle of the crane. You wanna avoid that. So just let it air dry. Uh, don't leave it too close to a heater and you're not gonna heat gun this. You're not gonna put this in your oven. You're just gonna sort of let it dry. And that'll take, I think like eight, maybe 12 hours. So if you set it to dry wet formed overnight, uh, by the next day, it should be ready to paint. So what we have now is something Make sure we're not too bright here. There we go. We have something that's supposed to fit over our arm. So you just want to make sure that you put the cuff on and then check to make sure that when you fit the bracer on, um, you're going to have a way to lace it up around your wrist and you can actually move and articulate your wrist in many of the different ways. And you just want to take the time to kind of wear it out and figure out what, what it is you're concerned about in terms of fit. And um, if this curvature is too tight, you can just gently press it open. When we do the riveting of the, um, the side strips, you'll be able to see that we're gonna flex it over the anvil. When we do our grommeting step, there'll be some flexing. And so this profile is not rigid and permanent like if it were in metal. It's flexible enough to kind of work with your body, but you do want that free shape so as you go to put it on, it just sort of holds itself in place as you're doing your general motion. So that's what it looks like. The burns are what you want to avoid. That's why you don't overcook this in front of your heater. I thought it was interesting that the tape apparently heated up faster than the leather and left the burn. I don't know if that's because the tape burnt part of itself off onto the leather or vice versa, but um, it's definitely a different texture. So we have our bracer pre-shaped and we're ready to paint. I'm gonna change the camera angle so everyone can get sort of a better view of the painting process and we'll do a quick rough wash. 